Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly seeing her citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. My kitty cat digging around in her cat box down there. Uh, we should give her a moment of privacy, I imagine. Anyway, though, welcome to uh, another brand new day. And for the Shelton, Washington Weather, Plague, Rat, and Spider Report, weather outside, it's not cold. I went out to dump some trash, and it's dark. <laughs> it's going to be dark till like 7.30, so I don't know what the weather's like, but it's not raining, and it's dry, and it's not cold, so thumbs up for that. For the Plague Rat Report, of course, I mean, of course, you see them. You see people out with no care for anybody else but themselves, not wearing masks where they should or wearing them improperly where they shouldn't be wearing them improperly. So all I can do for myself is hope that I'm going to be okay and hope that everyone else is going to be okay. A spider report. The three garden spiders are doing well over uh, by the window. Then, as I was thinking last night, I mean, they must be, it must be good hunting here, or they wouldn't stay. If they weren't eating and they were getting close to starving, they'd move on. So the fact that they're all still here must mean good hunting. Thumbs up for that. Glad to have them helping out. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And then I went walkies last night, of course. And I went walkies early, which means my day was very, very negatively impacted. It was... Was it coming up? I can't even remember the time. I think it was coming up on 6 o'clock when I went walkies. Yeah, because it was still light, but it was dark when I got... Dark-ish when I got back. So it was around six-ish when I went walkies. I took two ibuprofen tablets because that seems to help. Because if I don't, uh, the inflammation caused by using your muscles will inflame the nerves and cause issues with all the scar tissue. And then I end up not being able to sit. And then I have to go to bed. I, and that's bad. So I took two ibuprofen before I went walkies. And when I got back around 7 o'clock, <sighs> I had still inflamed the nerves of my back and legs. And I could not sit. I sat here for as long as I could. But at 8 o'clock, I gave up. Because I had to... It was... It's a... It's not exactly restless leg, but I have to treat my legs like they have restless leg and constantly move them because I'm having physical anxiety. There's no mental component, but my body's ramped up for it and I feel it in my legs and my lower back because of my back injuries and the nerve damage. And so that happened and I couldn't sit up I couldn't sit in the chair. After trying, I gave up, and I went to bed at 8 o'clock last night. Approximately, as stated. Before I went to sleep, I took a caffeine tablet. So I had taken at least 600 milligrams during the entire period of the day, and took that last 200 milligrams just before going to bed. I had an almost unbroken sleep once I finally fell asleep. It took a little while. I mean, it, even if I'm ready to fall asleep while standing up, as soon as I lie down, I kind of rev up a bit. And then it takes a while to de-rev and then fall asleep. And so that happened. But on the whole, I fell asleep pretty quickly. And it must have been... I mean, I still had some gut pain that woke me up early and I just flipped and flopped in bed as long as I could because it was semi-warm and I didn't want to wake up fully. I was halfway comfortable. But eventually I reached the wake up, the wake up point. I had been awake enough time-wise and rising level of consciousness just turning back and forth that it was like that 
there's no point, I'm wide awake. And so I got up, it was like 4.30, 4 o'clock, 4.30, not as early as 4 o'clock, so it must have been 4.30. So I've been up kind of early, but at the same time, I was like eight hours in bed. Even if I wasn't sleeping the full time, that meant at least a good six hours of sleep. For me, that's amazing. That's awesome. Definitely a thumbs up. Now, I'm sad I'm losing out on like the entire evening and I'd much rather sleep until a, a later time than 4.30. But if I can get that fixed so that it's like head to bed at 9.30 and get up at 5.30 like I try to do, that would work, eight hours of sleep. It's been a long time since I've been able to sleep this long. So that was really, really cool. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Yay. <laughs> ah, now, as for some other things here. I... There is a big, big, big thing going on right now. People are unhappy with the latest PlayStation 4 system update. And I had a bad thing happen to me as well. A lot of people are unhappy about that uh, it records all party chat. So that even if you, you know, you're just talking to your friends, it's recording it and sending it off to somewhere and being reviewed, manually checked. I'm not quite sure of the exact details. I'm not quite sure everyone is yet, but it's, it's doing something that people aren't happy about because they've never done that before. But now they are. So, yay. The thing that bothered me, I updated my PlayStation 4, and then as I sometimes do, I put it into rest mode after I had finished recording here. And so it was charging up the, the controller and just doing what it had to do in low power rest mode. And then I powered it up and it didn't turn on right. And that was bad because it was locked up. Now I don't know. I've never I have a PS4 Pro and I still don't know where the physical power buttons are and the physical eject the disc from the machine button is. I have no clues. I have to use the controller to eject the disc and turn the thing on and off because I don't know where the freaking buttons are. <laughs> they are hidden that well. And so I was stuck. I'm just thinking, what what the heck do I do? Uh, do I unplug it and try again? But as I was just sitting there looking at it, trying to figure out what to do, eventually it came up with a, there, there's been a system error, serious system error. You need to do blah, 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 blah. And then that went away and the system came up normally. So I was really freaked out, but luckily they have some kind of method and mode they can escape from, from some errors. It hasn't done that since, but it had never done anything like that before. So the latest update is, well, Sony is aware of a lot of problems because they didn't do a whole lot of work on this one. Joy. Because I need that thing to work properly. It's what I do my, my recording on. Well, I mean my vlog recording on and such like that. Nice camera. <laughs> In fact, it's too nice. I figured out why my lighting is all washed out now in my vlog. The light up there is perfect luminosity-wise for the Logitech camera but it's a bit too much for the PlayStation 4 camera. So it doesn't look as washed out today as it has been. Could be just my eyes. But I need to get a slightly less wattage. Well, I use LEDs now, so it's not wattage, but less luminosity, whatever the heck the word is. So it's not pumping out as quite as much light here and washing stuff out. And of course, the silvering of my hair doesn't help as it gets more and more reflective. Yay! <laughs> oh, joy. 
And then, of course, I wanted to talk about this one. I could look up further details on this person to get their pronouns correct, so I'm just going to use they because I haven't done that. But there is this one fellow who dresses up in drag, and when he does so, his nom de plume, the name, Trixie Mattel, and oh my God, this person has such a good voice. They did a cover of Lana Del Rey's video games, which I did a song mutilation of just uh, about a week ago. Thumbs up for that. But while singing and such, they also have like a zither, which is, you know, a, uh, it's an odd stringed instrument, but they're playing that while singing. Oh my God, their voice is so good. I almost prefer the Trixie Mattel version of the song Video Games over the Lana Del Rey version of Video Games. I mean, Lana Del Rey is troublesome as she and problematic as she is becoming. At least her older stuff had this sort of ethereal, not quite there physically quality to it. Very... I don't know what the word is other than just saying feeling ethereal, but it's a different way and it's amazing. But the Trixie Mattel version, hokey smokes. If, if you're interested enough, of course, I'm saying drop into your address search bar on YouTube and look up the Trixie Mattel and the Lana Del Rey versions and take a listen. It's well worth the contrast and compare. Thumbs up for that. Past that, I have been just surviving. I have been trying to figure out how to keep living and how to keep doing things. I had therapy yesterday. And it was good. We talked about this, that, and the other. You know, I said I... There was nothing really major I needed to talk about since nothing has really major changed since last time and this time. Last week and this week. I'm still suffering under the pressures of everything that's happening. But everybody is. And on as long as you're not backsliding too quickly, and as long as you're aware of what's happening, you're doing okay. So, one of the things he is going to be doing now, he's just always marked it down as chronic depression, but he's going to be putting it down as chronic depression and ADD, ADHD management. Now, I don't know which term is correct, because in the comments, people have said that ADD is a deprecated term, only I keep hearing actual professionals, like my therapist, using the term, and I keep seeing it used in articles and other people who have it using it. So I don't know whether ADD or ADHD, which one is in particular, because I don't have the hyperactive part. I can sit. I used to always be having a, a, a knee bouncing or something happening like that when I was younger. But in the decades that have passed, I don't need to fidget anymore. I can sit. Now, whether that just means it's training that I've been able to do that and I do have the hyperactive part, and but just now it's so buried under habit, or whether I don't, I have no ideas. But such is life. And of course, I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments, my community tab, but I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. <clears throat> mm. First time, though. Not bad. 25 people and thank all those people. 20 to, I, of course, I had to break right in the middle. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now, except with my peripheral vision accidentally. But I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Good, bad, and different. You took the time. You expended the calories. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. And even though I count an American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, mourning, ADHD, and more, I'm sometimes amazed I can even remember what my name is. And sometimes I do forget. We have S. 
Sake one or Sasaki, not sure, but thank you very much. Yuki likes hot potatoes, thumbs up and thank you. Yak TV, greatly appreciated. Luna River, thumbs up. Snuffkin's gay ass, good to see you in the comments. Hannah Rabelus, I'm nowhere close, but thank you very, very much. And Roger Mitchell, 111, thumbs up. Colin Reisner, thank you. Confused Owl 29, good to see you in the comments. Russian Timing, good to see you back. I know your situation. Don't worry, it's okay. You're busy. Jonas Horn, thumbs up and thank you. Mr. Sins, thumbs up. And then there is Sunny XL Bright, greatly appreciated. Jason Mester, thank you very, very much. We have Sebastian Ferris, greatly appreciated. Rise, spelled R1SE, Gooby Boy, thumbs up and thank you. We have Conspo Lopez, thumbs up. There is Nelson Mandela, thumbs up and thank you. Cassandra. Isabel Makuya, I hope, but I bet I'm nowhere close. Ivania Varela, thank you very much. Annie Powers, thumbs up. L A G A U F R E T T E, thumbs up, thank you. And then there's Christopher Thomas, greatly appreciated. Umaru, thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, Osana Najimi. Thumbs up and thank you all so very, very much. You get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up. If you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could donate to my or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. My ADD causes executive dysfunction. That is one of the reasons I have so much trouble doing things that need to be done. I need to fix my GoFundMe campaign if possible. I still do not know if I can, but I need to get it done. Hopefully I'll be able to push through this as quickly as possible. If you would like to help me out without sending money to the Patreon.com patronage, <coughs> I have a PayPal link down below if you could check that out. And I have an Amazon wishlist link as well if you could check that out. That would be very, very cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And, well, I've gotten pretty good at putting the please subscribe to the channel thing at the beginning of the video. So hopefully I remember that. Thumbs up or that. Well, good golly, Miss Molly. I have this video you have been watching. I have the second half of the video I recorded yesterday that I need to edit, render, and upload. So I'm going to be busy at least for part of the day. I need to head out early and get some more food, actual just food, nothing else, I, and, and not as much as I would like. It's, oh, it's fun being poor, so thumbs up for that. I've got a whole monologue I've been working on for the Duck Head of Judgment. Hopefully I'll be able to get that done for tomorrow. That would be pretty cool, but remember, the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment has a surplus of scorn and is ready almost eager to cast that scorn upon those it finds necessary do not disappoint the lobster hat wearing duck head of judgment and please wear a mask it is a good thing Practice your social distancing. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. It's all good things. Definitely a thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And Black Lives Matter. Damn it. And justice for everybody that the jack-booted, brown-shirted, fascist thugs in police uniforms keep brutalizing and murdering on U.S. American streets.